Hey everybody, it's Naman. Since Devika's in class, we're about to crash Chemistry 178, The Chemistry of Cooking. We're gonna hear from Dr. Tran and Chef Johnny a little later, so let's get started. My name is Dr. Lisa Tran Liu, and I am an associate teaching professor here at Rice University. This course is known as the Chemistry of Cooking, and it is a general education course offered through the Department of Chemistry. It is an example of one of the many classes that Rice University offers to help students who might not be too familiar or too comfortable learning about science to engage in science in fun and unconventional ways. I created this course primarily because I had formerly been teaching general chemistry, which oftentimes has a big, big intimidating reputation as um, being very difficult and not very palatable for all students to take. So I had this idea to be able to teach the same concepts and sometimes even more complicated concepts in chemistry through a much more relatable medium like food and cooking, which everyone can relate to because everyone needs to eat, everyone needs to cook or knows someone who needs to cook in their life. And so why not use very relatable examples in their everyday lives to learn more meaningfully about chemistry and about science. So one of the unique things that we have here at Rice University is a very, very special team known as the Rice Dining Team. And this course wouldn't be possible without their collaboration. Specifically, this class is co-instructed by the dining director of Rice University. His name is Chef Johnny Curette, and he helps make this class just as much of a science class as it is a culinary arts class. And so on Mondays, we actually meet to discuss theory in this classroom. And then on Wednesdays, we go into a live acting kitchen here on Rice campus. And one of the most awesome things about this class is that our students are assessed at the very end of the semester through a cooking competition where the student teams have half a semester to develop their own original recipes that they will cook and serve to a panel of judges, uh, all representative of faculty members, students, staff members, and community members who will not only enjoy the food that the students have cooked for them, but also hear about the science behind the dishes that they will produce at the end of the semester. Just like many of the other courses that I teach on, on Rice campus, I really do treat my courses like experiments in themselves. And so every year I really do appreciate and take back a lot of student feedback in real time to, in, in ways to help me figure out how to improve the course year after year. Because when you come to think of it, you know, students are humans and humans are not standardized. And so trying to figure out ways to customize the experience for my students makes it a lot more effective for them to learn about the things that I want them to learn in the class. So every single year, there's always something different, whether it is the, the guest speakers who I bring in to the class, or the types of dishes that we highlight, or the cultures that we also try to introduce our students to who might not have ever experienced those, those cuisines before. So Naman, I know you learn a lot just by observing me and you know learning my ways every single day. But what did you learn in chemistry of cooking? Well, I learned that your cooking can use a little bit of work. Well, I'd like to see you do better. And that's why I'm taking Chem 178 next semester with Dr. Tran.